Hey, good morning, everybody. Look here, I'm pretty much excited. You, I was a little scared at first to try to do this uh, uh, new journey that I'm on. If I need somebody, you know, I just jump in my ET wheeler and then put a load on there and drive and then I'm dropping the load down to make my money. This new venture that I'm on right now uh, is a little scary because you go by commission, base pay, and stuff of that nature, okay? So it, it was a little intimidating for me at first, but it took me about five days to sell my first truck, and already that would be enough to succeed running over the road for for a whole week. So uh, the, the journey just started. You know, you just don't sell one truck and you can retire. So you got to keep doing what you're doing and perfect your crap. So what I'm about what you see in front of me is uh just want to talk to y'all for a second about this stuff. All right. Uh the two competitions right here. Uh we got the X Max. All right. Y'all know I got uh sixteen of these things, okay? Mr Mr. America Base, it's himself, man. I love him. I love him, love him, love that dude to death, you know. Just I'm just putting that out there right now so y'all know. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for American Base. In fact, I'm not saying I won't be where I'm at because of American Base, but it took me a lot longer because I did not have the money to blow up amps, damage subs, and then make a phone call and say, hey, I need to replace this, you know, so... That's why I'm faithful, uh, American base, uh, a guy, uh, cause they, they support me. So, uh, don't sponsor me, but they support me so much. God, Lee, it's just un unbelievable. So this is what I'm going to do. Folks, basically I'm focusing on, on, I gotta say this. Excuse the way I'm talking, man. The allergies is kicking my butt real bad. My sinus is just c constantly draining. So if I sound a little weird, I'm sniffing. That's that's part of the reason why. That is the reason why. I'm gonna be concentrating on H Town uh, uh, students in a lot of this stuff. So if you follow me and you from H Town, your kid doing good in school. Uh, man, uh, I like to start donating some of my stuff to them uh, just by token to say, hey, congratulations. Got to concentrate on the kids because they the one that's going to be <laughs> having an impact on our future, right? So these BFLs, competition, all competition going in trucks that I'm selling, okay? So this here, uh, X-Mac is 6,500, I mean, peak. This this is a 3K uh, competition, VFL. So I'm gonna build a box, one box, go slide, slide up on this bump, not where the bump closed and muffle the sound. The KWs have a little cutout in the bottom where you can slide your boots or uh, luggage bag. You can slide that in that spot. So I'm gonna slide this this box that I'm gonna build. They gonna be separate boxes, but it's gonna be one box, two boxes in one. It's gonna be imported. I'm gonna try to get them down to probably about uh, maybe you know between 33, 36 hertz. The, the N4 masses that I had, I forgot I had these guys. I ain't gonna even sit up there and tell you no story. I had, I had uh, uh, right here, the Mojos. I had like 14 of them, seven, but behind each truck, I be behind each one of my uh, seats inside my semi, going straight to the top. I, get, I was calling it the Twin Towers, okay? I had one massive, one massive, uh, one in four masses on every, every Mojo sub I had. 
I mean, every two pair, every pair, let me rephrase that. I had one massive amplifier pushing one pair of mojos, okay? So that means I had seven. And I gave away five of these. I don't know why they give these two away, uh, but some kind of way they slipped through the cracks uh, and I forgot about them. So see, I had to start doing real rage and see the dogs just, just table, pool table, they don't, you know what I mean? They, I'm like, I'm glad they didn't chew the surrounded off of my subs. I'd have been bad if they about $800 or something like that. I don't even remember. Uh, so I kicked the dogs out. Boo boo and all them were So yeah, the dogs got kicked out, okay? Uh, so uh, I'm most likely I ain't gonna give away these last. I only got one pair of these, these mojos left. Uh, more sentimental, sentimental value to it, so I might give it to my baby. She, of course, she might not even be in this kind of stuff when she get older. Uh, she just eight years old, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this stuff. A lot of this stuff, well, all of my equipment finna go to my storage, uh, cause I'm a store selling American based product. Miss the American base, uh. He don't like for me to say his name, so I gotta say, I am finna say his name, but I'm just, just change it. It's easy for me not to say his name. I'm gonna just say Mr. American Bass. The American Bass family want me to start, or allowing me to start selling their products down here in the Houston area. Now this one in the middle, yeah, you, I, I'm just showing you the difference in the, in, in the uh, quality, okay? Or the sizes, so to speak. I'm not, if I'm mistaken, this, I bought this, no, a guy bought this out of Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. But see how small it is compared to the Mojos and these, the XRs. Over here's the XRs. The XRs are, are American based product as well, but you can see the XRs and the Mojos pretty much close, okay? Uh, the Mojo's, yeah, they about the same. Okay, so buy you something. It don't matter what it is, guys. Buy you something, you you know, to your liking. And, and what happened? This guy had upgraded. It, he, he didn't even want to take the subs with him. He was so happy. I built him a box. He didn't want to take the subs with him. He just left me. Up. So I'm gonna give that away too. I don't I don't need this stuff accumulating inside my well, garage or in my new storage facility, okay? So this is gonna be a nice sounding box right here. I'm gonna try to get like say between 33 and 36 uh, Hertz. Uh, it's gonna be one, uh, two boxes in one. Cause I'm gonna have one amp on each sub. And that should produce some pretty good sounds for it coming out of that KW. I wish I was at the yard now. I can show you the truck that's going in, but I, I will update you guys on, on all this, let you all see it. Uh, I appreciate you guys support, share my videos, uh, let people know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm also selling trucks now. Uh, that, that helps, that helps uh, when you guys do that, so. I gotta in return do something uh, to thank y'all for it. So, what other way is that is to support your own child in some type of way? All right. Now, if you're not in high school and you still follow me, I'm gonna start selling stuff for American Base uh, stuff that's in the box. I'm, most of this stuff right here these I got like I say 16 of these uh, bad boys here uh, I don't feel comfortable selling those because I recalled them myself and I just don't feel comfortable selling them because something happened uh, then I feel more 
remorse for it. I feel obligated to make it right. And I don't want to feel that way. So you can't come back to me and say, hey, man, this, this survey ain't working. I said, well, I gave it to you. <laughs> So you're more than welcome to get a recode. If if something happened, you can recode these subs, uh, these X maxes. You can recode. They got recodes for them, okay? So you can recode the subs, uh, and you'll have your uh, $800 sub for. I think a recode is like one seventy nine. So that ain't bad. That is. That ain't bad. So that again, yeah, that's that's what what I got. And hopefully, hopefully, man, you know I can motivate some of the youngsters. Uh, if they are going the wrong path, I hope I can motivate them and put them back on the right path. That's my that's that's a goal of mine. Uh, don't let people uh, guide you. Don't let bad influence guide you. Uh, don't feel bad if somebody calling you a square, because I'm, I'm a square, man. I ain't gonna even sit up here, that's why I stayed to myself. I don't hardly go to a lot of places because I am a square. I don't smoke, I don't drink, not saying anything wrong with this stuff, it's just something that I don't do. And if you not doing what I like to do, and if you doing what I don't like to do, then, uh, I don't hate you. I just, you know, have my own space to myself. So anyway, that's that's what I want to give to the youngsters. Uh, a lot of youngsters are are being are their followers. You know, their followers of a of a of the most dominating crowd. And the, the crowd is out there doing smoking and they rob it, and then that's what they, they mostly going to do. But if you hang around a lot of people that are studying, doing their homework, doing their chores, helping mom, dad out around the house, taking the trash out, you go visit your friend and they doing the same thing, then y'all going to go most likely bond together. So uh, be your old person. Be your old person. Parents, this is for y'all. Make sure you go and interact with your kids. Go inside the room when they're in school. Check and see if they got a Uzi under the bed. Check and see if they got a, a blunt rolled up under the bed. Uh, just check for these things. And, and you, you can help get these kids on, on the right track because it's, it's your responsibility. It's our responsibility as a parent. All right? All right? So much love to y'all, man. I hope you you know this message go far and beyond with y'all. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing some stuff for the kids out in Houston because I don't have to do the uh, shipping and handling, and also I'm not over the road anymore. So. Uh, I will be taking my, because the truck will still have insurance, so I will be taking my truck to shows, okay? So I will hopefully see a lot of you guys at some of these shows as well. Uh, audio shows, base off competition, truck shows, because my truck is going to get painted. The inside is going to get professionally done. The dashboards and stuff like that, the floors is going to be redone. So it's a it's a lot of stuff here to go on in the inside of my my new journey. So I appreciate once again I wouldn't have got here if it weren't for y'all, and I still got a long ways to go, man. Uh, trust me, my heart is generous. You gotta believe that, all right? My heart is very generous. The more love y'all show me, the more I can do back for the following that uh, I'm accumulate along the way. So hope y'all have a good weekend. Fire up the barbecue pits. Uh, get the baller going. Throw you some crawfish in there. Have a good time with the family. You know, because I'm, I'm here, baby. I'm off the road now. All right. I sold my first truck less than five days. So let's, let's keep it going. Let people know, your friends and family. You hear somebody talking about they need a truck. Hey, you can reach me. 
Yeah, you can call uh, 713-828-8198. If I don't answer, leave a message. Or you can call my, my office. Somebody will help you there. 346-613-1077. Let's have some fun, man. The trucks that we sell it, mostly they are Cascadians. Uh, we target the uh, Cascadians because the automatics, uh, they more trucker friendly. Meaning that, you know, of course, you know, uh, we do flatbed. So, you know, the, the new guys coming in, the new girls coming in, uh, they are only automatic license. That's all they can drive. So we gonna start with this route first. Uh, we got extra extended warranties on there. Man, I'm excited to talk to y'all about it. I'll be encouraging y'all as much as I can to get that extended warranty from bumper to bumper, your transmission, your motor issues, fuel injection. You cover, man. Just concentrate on running and make your money over here. Uh, umbrella logistics. Uh, is separate from the, the dome truck sale. We all affiliated uh, with each other, but it's a separate entity, okay? So you bought a truck from us, you could also work it with our partners over there at Umbrella Logistics, okay? So don't ever worry about it. If I buy a truck, where can I work, work it? Our company over there, at Umbrella Logistics, is very transparent. You get all original rate confirmation. The trucks that we sell gonna be ELD equipped, so you gonna get 88% of the line haul, and we gross it anywhere from 7,000 to 8,500. Plus, it depends on if you do want to go where the contract work at, okay? So you can make your money. 88%, that's a lot of money that we give it to the drivers. We done scheming nothing off the top, okay? If you got an older truck, okay, you gonna be running, you know, like a bad out of you know what, because you paper loss. We you have we check the law, so you have to make sure your fuel is matching up with your law book. You know, that's what our requirements. Uh, but uh, these guys be get eighty five percent because it's more of a liability. Uh, that's something that the insurance require. We all have to, that, that's out of our control. The automatics they are sixty five governed. Don't hate to tell y'all that, but it's your truck you buy. You want lift the governor off you want to take it off when the truck is wide open that's your choice i highly recommend you not to the trucks been running like this up to four hundred thousand miles they still under warranty once you start changing to something you know you, you might start running to sensor issues you might start uh having you know pressure building up in the engine causing you know you're leaking all transmission fluid power steering fluid Airlines, uh, you know, you could cause all kind of problems. Just set your crew and you, you get paid good loads. It's no need to rush, but once again, that's totally up to you. I want to tell everybody, man, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all got me at home, you know, with my family so I can be able to concentrate on how I can repay everybody, uh, at least a tip to repay everybody because that's, that's who I am. Okay, so much love to everybody, and hopefully I can start selling some, I'm going to start stocking on some of this good American base equipment, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I appreciate y'all again. I took most of y'all time up, but I got to build this box. got to put it inside this KW. We got to get the paint polished, the wheels polished, the trailers, tires polished. We gonna try to do all that. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna be a busy man. They, you know, they want me to start uh, knocking on customers' doors with my expertise, with my following. See, if we can get some direct freight coming out of Houston. Uh, the, maybe some local stuff. Man, uh, hey, the sky's the limit, and I'm up there in the sky right now. I'm on cloud nine. Much love to everybody.